morning children uh, in the previous class i think so your problems were solved on ratio and today we are going to start with proportion yes so first of first of all let us try to know what proportion means what is the meaning of proportion when something is in proportion you have heard this word in english also you use but in math see how we use when two ratios like we have four terms of the for a is to b and c is to d they are the two ratios when two ratios are equal we say that they are in proportion and this is the sign we put this four dots in the square shape to represent this proportion to represent we say that a ratio b is proportional to c ratio d clear a what is proportion when two ratios are equal they are said to be in proportion and the proportion sign is denoted not by the equal sign but we write it we put these four dots in the square form that represents proportion now a ratio b can also be written as a upon b yes is equal to c upon d clear now we know that by cross multiplication a into d is equal to b into c ad is equal to bc now if you see this proportion a ratio b is proportional to c ratio d we can say that these terms the a and the d which are at the extreme ends they are called extremes what are they called extremes because they are the extreme terms when we write the four terms of the ratio two ratios they are at the extreme ends so they are called extremes and the middle terms are called means what are they called means extremes now here we have said that a when the two ratios are equal a into d is equal to b into c same thing we can say here the a into d is the product of extremes and b into c is the product of means clear so ad is equal to bc we can check whether the four numbers are given they are in proportion or not by writing the numbers the two ratios like this yes and a into d the product of extremes should be equal if they, it is equal to the product of means then the two ratios are equal and then the four four terms are said to be in the two ratios are in proportion clear yeah. now for ratio we have studied that these two a and b yes they should have the same unit they should be of the same kind but for proportion we can say a and b have to be in the same unit and same kind but c and d may not be in the same same kind may be of not of the same kind as a and b like if we can write 2 kg is to 4 kg yes and here we can write 2 meters or 4 2 meters is to 4 meters it's not necessary in proportion that kg has to be the ratio which was in kg has to be the ratio in which was in meters yes it can be any other unit but a and b should have the same units whereas c and d should have the same units clear if we say 2 is to 5 yes we can say here 2 is to 5 these are numbers we can say here 200 is to 500 rupees yes 200 500 is again 2 is to 5 clear so what is proportion when two ratios are equal they are said to be in proportion to check whether the given quantities given numbers are in proportion or not first method is we check that product of extremes if it is equal to the product of means then they are the four numbers or the two ratios are said to be in proportion the other method of doing it is like if we take two numbers as if we take two numbers as 1 by 2 One by two and four by eight. Yes, I have to check whether these two ratios are proportion in proportion or not. The one way, the first way that I told you that you write it as product of extremes is equal to product of means. The other method is you just simplify this. Four ones are four. Simplest. Write the frag ratios in the simplest form. If in the simplest form, see you get the same ratio. There are two ways of doing it. first is product of extremes is equal to product of means and the second is you can change the ratios to the simplest form and if the simplest form 
the same, then the ratios are said to be in proportion. Okay. Now let us take an example. Let us take and find, check whether these numbers are in proportion or not. Let me take this. Hmm. Check whether the given numbers are in proportion. Now suppose 2, 3, 4 and 6. 2 and 6 are the extremes and 3 and 4 are the means. So multiply 2 multiplied by 6 and 3 multiplied by 4. Both are they equal? 2, 6 are 12 and 3, 4 are 12. When the product of extremes is equal to product of means, the ratios are said to be in proportion or the numbers are said to be in proportion. Now you have similar questions in your work. If, if I say, if I take this, if I say that this, these numbers are in proportion. Just one more thing, 2, 3, 4 and 6. 1, 2 is called first proportional. 4, 3 is called, 6 is called the fourth proportional. Yes, and this is called as first proportional. This is called as fourth proportional in the FOU. Sorry, this is called as fourth proportional. Clear? First proportional, fourth proportional and that's it. Now coming to, suppose now this term is not given. Suppose this, they ask you to find x in this case and they tell you that these numbers are in proportion, find x. Same thing, how will you do this? Product of means is equal to product of, extremes is equal to product of means. Extremes are 2 and 6. So 2 into 6 should be equal to x into 3. Clear? So x into 3 you can find linear equation x into 3, x is multiplied by 3. So 3 comes off to the other side in the denominator as division is x. Clear? 3, 2 is 6. So x is 4. Clear? So you can find any anything which is missing. X can be this number, x can be here, x can be here. It can be anywhere if one number is missing and they say that these four numbers are in proportion then you can arrange the numbers. The order has to be maintained well. Yes, these four numbers are in proportion. Find x. So, product of extremes is equal to product of means will give you the answer. Now, suppose you have, they are asking you to find the another question that we are taking. They ask you to find the fourth proportional to this. Fourth proportional to the ratios are, just note it down, 1 by 2 is to 1 by 3 is proportional to 1 by 8 is to x. This is the fourth proportional. It is at the fourth place. So it is called the fourth proportional. This is at the first place. This is called the first proportional. And what are the extremes here? They are in proportion. So what are the extremes here? 1 by 2 and x. They are at the extreme ends. Okay. And what are the means here? 1 by 3 and 1 by 8 are the means. So multiply Product of extremes is half into x is equal to product of means is 1 by 3 into 1 by 8. So 1 by x upon 2 you can write is 1 upon 3 into 8 is 24. Clear? So x divided by 2. So 2 goes there as multiplication. 1 by 24 into 2 that gives you x is 1 by 12. Clear? So you can find the value of x, whether the ratios are in the fraction form, the numbers are in the fraction form or they are the whole numbers. So proportion is only checked by product of extremes is equal to product of means. Yes, and you can find any unknown, which is if they are in proportion, you can find the proportion. You can find the unknown number. Clear? Now do question 1, 2, 3 and 4. Of your exercise, yes, ratio and proportion, the first exercise you have already done. The second exercise, question number 1, 2, 3 and 4 are based on this topic only. Proportion, they are the same kind, find the fourth proportional or they are asking you find x when they are in proportion or they are asking you check whether the given numbers are in proportion or not. So do these questions and submit your work by 5 p.m. in the evening to your respective maths teachers. And let us end the class by, a, by two minutes of silence.